Well, how are we doing? I hope you're all spot on and thanks for watching the video. Now I'd like to say a big thanks to Ron Mack and Miss Mary H. Dream. Thank you very much. You know why. Thank you. I do appreciate it. So I have been shopping. I'm going to do a Pigs in Blankets review or comparison or whatever. Call it what you like. <laughs> I've been to... Anyway, let's have a look at these and see what we have got. I've got a selection here. I did a Pigs in Blankets last year. I did Aldi and Iceland and I missed Tesco and Asda so I've got them now. I went to Tesco's and I bought these. These are frozen, cut from frozen. These were £3, these are the most expensive and there's 12 look. Well I hope there is, we'll count them. Now this is controversial. I went to Asda and I bought these. These were £2.40 so 60p cheaper, free from gluten. Now, these are fresh. Well, when I say fresh, they're not frozen. So controversial, but the good thing is because the frozen ones had all sold out and I didn't want to come back empty-handed, so we're throwing a, a fresh one in the mix. And they're £2.40, so they're cheaper than the Tesco. I went to Iceland and I bought these 12 pigs in blankets. Now, I did the luxury ones last year, never did these. These were £2.40. pence. These are frozen and they're the same price as the fresh ones from Asda. I went to Aldi and I bought these. These are frozen. Let's party 12 pigs in blankets. Now these were £1.99. So these were the cheapest. So let's have a look at the boxes. I will do a Tesco and a Asda comparison side by side. I will have to try and remember the... Um, ingredients they are the ingredients there look we've got pork 67 percent and the allergens are wheat and metabisulfite sausage filled into a non-uk beef casing so remember the pork content 67 percent this is um asda pork cocktail sausage i'll get it right um 65 percent pork 72 percent Allergens, metabisulfite. There's some nutritional information. And there's some nutritional information. If you want to pause them, go ahead. So that's 222 grams. And this is 240. So that you're getting um, you're getting considerably more, aren't you, with the Tesco's. Now they are three pounds at the end of the day. Now the the two these were two pounds forty from Iceland, frozen, and these were one pound ninety-nine from Aldi. So let's have a look at the Aldi ones. Pork sausage, 70%. Pork, 57%. So these are quite low, aren't they? And they're 240 grams as well. Um, 240, so the Tesco's are more actually. They're three, well, they're 240. They're 240, I, I get mixed up here now. Um, <laughs> these are the ingredients for the um Iceland pork cocktail sausage 67% pork 56% so these are the lowest they're all 30 to 35 minutes to cook apart from these which are 25 because these are fresh and not frozen all the other three are frozen so I'm going to get them on trays now no I'm not I'm going to have a look at them <laughs> we're going to have a look at them so let's have a look at the Tesco's there they are look how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We've got 13. So there, there's the, um, the Asda. They're looking all lovely and uniformed in there. And if my maths are correct, yeah, I'd say there's 12 in there. Let's have a look at the Iceland. Have a look at them. One, two, oh, one's fell out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We get 12 in there. We do like a pig in a blanket. Uh, let's have a look at the Aldi. That's the Aldi look. Um, 4, 8, 12. Get 12 in there. They're all frozen. Right, I'm going to get them on a tray. I think I'm due a new tray. Um, I don't want to get these mixed up. So we have to do a peel seal test, I would imagine, don't we? See if they come off. Remove out the sleeve and film lid. So that's what we're going to do now. Seal peel test. 
So this is the Tesco one. Let's see if it works. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it's just failed on me. Oh, no. Oh. It's, it's failed. It was going so well for the first sort of second. Oh no, another sleep, another sleepless night tonight. Right, we'll put that at the top and get rid of that. So I'll put I'll put them like that. I'll, I'll leave that one because that's going in. I'll put these in for ten minutes extra. Right, this is the uh, Iceland. Let's see the peel seal test. See if we can get these off. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh now I will sleep tonight. Oh, just a little bit left. I'm having that though. I'm taking that as a victory. It came off okay, that one. Put that one there. Now let's have a look at the Aldi. And I better, better, better get my words out. <laughs> I better not get these mixed up. You can tell the Aldi ones anyway. Look at them. They look a bit different. So let's do the seal peel test. Oh, that's the clear winner. That came off real easy. So... I'll, I'll lay them out in order, as they are. I don't want to get them mixed up. And that's how they're going in. Like that. Right, I'll get these in and then I'll do that one. So I've done um, comparisons before with frozen and fresh. And I got a comment in, in my comments section saying, when everything comes into the supermarkets anyway, it's all, it's all frozen. So please let me know if that's... Um, if that is correct. So we'll do the, the seal. Oh no. No. The fresh ones, they're doubly vat packed. Um, because they're fresh, they're sort of doubly, they're doubly sealed. Um, and it's failed the old seal peel test. The Asda one has. Oh no. Back to a, back to a sl sleepless night tonight. All nice and uniformed in there. They've been put in there with a bit of care, I think. Uh, I had to think twice then. I can't really put that plastic container in the oven, so I'm just transferring them now to um, a baking tray, and they will go in now for 25 minutes. So you don't really want to be. Oh, there we go. There's me. That's me cue. You don't want to see me do this, do you? So I know what you're thinking as well. I've got. F I've just counted them up. I've got 48, 48 pigs in blankets to get through. I do like them, I do, I do like them, I'll be honest, I do like, but I'm, I'm going to struggle eating 48, I really am. And I've just put the washing on, and, 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 and I've put it on a fast wash, and it come up 48 minutes. <laughs> it's telling me, isn't it? It's telling me. Uh, I'll probably, um, obviously I'll put them, put a cover on them, put them in the fridge and warm them up for later. I'm sure you can warm pork up, can't you? Well, I did this morning anyway. I had some uh, sausages that were cooked yesterday and uh, I was just warming them up in the old um, air fryer. Right, I'll bring you back when these are done. Here they are, they're all done. You'd think I was cooking a banquet for lots of people, but um, I'm not. <laughs> now, these are the Asda ones. 25 minutes and we've got Tesco's Tesco uh, these are Iceland and these are Aldi right it's taste test time so before I start um, I've got a feeling that they're all going to taste basically of smoky bacon and sausage I know that sounds a bit bizarre things the way they are but um, that's my that's my opinion. I'm going to get a drink of water as well and try in between. What's that? Smoked bacon, smoked bacon, and yeah, I can't see there being a massive difference in any of them. But I'm going to get straight in for the as the as the they screw me twelve pigs in blankets. I've just took I've took it out of the. Um, of the, the tray so if you like this kind of video uh, please give it a thumbs up maybe consider subscribing to the channel it does help let me know your favorite pigs in blankets 
Mm. Mm. Exactly what I was just saying before. Smoky bacon and sausage. The sausage is quite loose, if you know what I mean. Um, it's well seasoned. Right, let's try the um, the Tesco. Now these are three quid. The Azra two forty. Hmm. Oh, that's more salty that one. Oh. Yeah, that's a lot more salty that one. The Tesco, but I like it like that. I do. The meat's loose as well inside there because it's been wrapped in um, bacon, hasn't it? So it's going to be soft. It's well seasoned. The difference with them two, as to and Tesco, is uh, Tesco's were a lot more saltier. Salty. <laughs> Saltier. Salty. Have a look at that. Mm. Smoked bacon with sausage. Like I say, sausage is well seasoned and it's loose. They're all pretty much the same. They are... The one that sticks out is a Tesco, it's a, it, it tasted a lot saltier. Right, I better get a drink of water, I'll get pulled up. And, and another significant difference is that the Asda one, they look smaller, but these are fresh. I'll turn them around, I'll get that one there. Oh, I'll love a shot with this one. The Iceland one is the only one that tastes different to the others. That that's and it's well seasoned. I'm getting the flavour of the bacon through. The the meat is a bit it's a bit more salt more solid the Iceland, but pretty much they're all sort of very similar. If I had to pick a favourite. It would probably be the Tesco because it's salty and I like salty. I do. But really, there's hardly anything in it. There's, they're all pig. And once you get it on your dinner with the gravy and everything else mixed in. I have noticed in the past that as they have like herbs in them, look. Herbs. I didn't really pick a lot of the, of the flavour of herbs up in that. I will try. I'll try another one. Mm. Now I've looked for him. You, you can pick it up the herb flavour, but it's 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 very minimal. It wouldn't put me off buying them. So yeah, so I'd say the the winner is the Aldi because the 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 one pound ninety nine is the cheapest and they just taste like all the others. I'll be honest. The, the ones, the Tesco's are the three quid, but they are more salty. They taste a lot more salty. So it's up to you. It's up to your budget as well. Please let me know what you think and what your favourites are. So thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Please take care. All the best. And I'll catch you on the next one.